They keep getting hit by cars. Wild red wolves in eastern North Carolina are fading fast because of vehicle strikes. From what biologists know, only 18 of them remain. 10 on your side's Nick Broadway explains what's being done to save the endangered species. They are among the first animals to be designated in the Endangered Species Act. Red wolves are native to North America. They used to have habitats up and down the East Coast and as far west as Texas. Through a U.S. Fish and Wildlife program, they were reintroduced to the wild in a region just west of Manio to the Alligator River National Wildlife Refuge in Dare County. By the year 2012, the red wolf population rebounded to about 120 known adult wolves. Now it's down to just 18. The leading cause of death for the wolves since then were gunshots. Perrin DeYoung with the Center of Biological Diversity says the wolf shooting started as more developers moved into the land. Poaching ran rampant and uh, red wolves were being killed systematically by uh, people who to this day have not been prosecuted for it. As those shootings slowed down in recent years, they notice an upsetting trend with wolves being hit by traffic. Highway 64 cuts through the northern section of the refuge, a main artery for people traveling to the Outer Banks. Within the past year, four of the wolves were killed by vehicles. Now the Center for Biological Diversity is raising money for wildlife crossings that run across Highway 64, hoping this might help prevent the wild red wolves from disappearing. Some good news, they recently discovered a new litter of eight pups. That's the biggest known wild litter that's been born to red wolves in many years. So that's a cause for celebration and hope. But of course, these vehicle strikes continue. One other issue they're having, red wolves breeding with coyotes, diluting the species. They're working on a coyote sterilization program to help slow this down. Nick Broadway, 10 on your side.